Welcome to all. I am Noorul Laini, Department of Mathematics from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. Our topic, Central Limit Theorem. First of all, we have to see the statement of Central Limit Theorem. Let x1, x2, etc, xn are n independent, identically distributed random variable with same mean mu and standard deviation sigma and if x bar equal to 1 by n sigma i equal to 1 to n x i then the variate is it equal to x bar minus mu by sigma by root n has a distribution that approaches the standard normal distribution as n tends to infinity provided the mgf of x i exit let us see the problem based on central limit theorem question if x1 comma x2 etc xn are poison variable with parameter lambda equal to 2 use central limit theorem to estimate probability of 120 less than sn less than 160 where Sn equal to x1 plus x2 plus etc xn and n equal to 75. Let us start the solution. Mean and variance. First of all, we have to write the mean and variance. Here, the mentioning in the question Poisson variable. In the Poisson distribution, mean equal to variance equal to lambda. Therefore, in the question itself, they given the lambda value. So, from the lambda value, we can easily write mean and variance value. Therefore, mean equal to 2 as well as variance equal to 2. To find n mu and n sigma square. From the question, they given n equal to 75. Therefore, n mu means that is mu denoted as mean. Therefore, 75 into 2 equal to 150. N sigma square, sigma square is a variance. Therefore, 75 into 2 equal to 150. From this, sigma into root n equal to root n 50. Application of central limit theorem is, Sn is appropriate n of n mu comma sigma root n. That is capital N of 150 comma root 150. To find probability of 120 less than Sn less than 160. Let Z equal to Sn minus N mu by sigma root N. Here we substitute our N mu and sigma root N value. After that, we have to find out 120 less than Sn less than 160 probability. So, first we have to substitute Sn equal to 120. Therefore, Z value is minus 2.45. When Sn equal to 160, we get Z equal to 0 0.85. Therefore, probability of 120 less than Sn less than 60 equal to Probability of minus 2.45 less than or equal to Z less than or equal to 0 0.85. After that, we have to split it into two terms. That is minus 2.45 to 0 plus 0 to 0 0.85. Therefore, probability of minus 2.45 less than or equal to Z less than or equal to 0 plus probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0 0.85. From the normal variate table, we can easily find out the value of this. Therefore, we get the value for probability of minus 2.45 less than z less than 0 value is 0 0.4927. From the table, we get this value. As well as 
for probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0 0.85 equal to 0 0.2939. Therefore, totally 0 0.7866. Let us see the second problem. Let x1, x2, etc., xn be independent, identically distributed random variable with a mean equal to 2 and variance equal to 1 by 4. Find probability of 192 less than x1 plus x2, etc., plus xn less than 210. Solution for this from the question itself. They given mean value equal to 2 and variance equal to 1 by 4 as well as n equal to 4. Then n mu therefore our sorry our n value is equal to 100 uh, therefore n mu equal to 100 into 2 that is equal to 200 n sigma square equal to 100 into 1 by 4 variance value is 1 by 4 that is equal to 25 therefore our sigma root n equal to 5 root 25 equal to 5 then application of central limit theorem Sn appropriate capital N of n mu comma sigma root n equal to capital N of 200 comma 5. To find probability of 192 less than Sn less than 210. Here capital Z equal to Sn minus n mu by sigma root n. This is the formula for Z. Here we substitute the value n mu and sigma root n value. After that, we have to calculate when Sn equal to 192 and Sn equal to 210. Therefore, if Sn equal to 192, Z equal to minus 1.6. If Sn Sn equal to 210, Z equal to 2. Therefore, for calculating probability of 192 less than Sn less than 210 equal to probability of minus 1.6 less than Z less than 2. After that, we have to split it into two terms that is minus 1.6 to 0 plus 0 to 2. From the table, we can easily get the value for minus 1.6 to 0 and 0 to 2 the value is 0 0.4452 plus 0 0.4772 totally we get the answer as 0 0.9224 thank you for watching